that are driving uh, most economies. If you go to China, the Canton Fair, um, we all agree that it's like a city. And that we all go together, the distributors and then the manufacturers congregate and see the new innovative products and all that. And Ghana is not an exemption that we should um, organize this and organize it well uh, for people to congregate, manufacturers and traders and even consumers alike to come together to, um, to showcase their products and also um, for consumers to evaluate the new innovations that have come. In this regard, um, the uh, uh, products that are energy saving and all that, that will help their energy requirements. So it's very important that you are not traveling um, to Turkey, you are not traveling to India, you are not traveling to China, and they have come here, the manufacturers. Then, of course, you have an advantage to come um, at no cost um, to, uh, to the conference will be starting soon. It will be happening at the same hall where we had um, to, uh, to enable all consumers to explore um, the new innovations um, with regards to energy um, products. And so it is very important and very essence, especially for the trading community. It affords you the opportunity without necessarily traveling um, afar um, um, uh, to be enable, uh, to enable you um, assess um, new products. So this um, kind of meetings is very important. And also for the nation, it also gives us the opportunity to sell our products also to the rest of the world. And that's what the other economies have done. And we have to attach a great deal of importance to such um, uh, meetings. And that's why I'm calling on the government to fast track on the development of the trade fair. We have to do everything possible to make it a state of the art and uh, trade fair centers. As we travel, I hope you have gone to India, the Lakrama that they organize, you go to Canton Fair in China. It's the state of the art um, pavilions that we visit and it drives the economy in terms of manufacturing and trading. And it's very important that... What do you say about the current uh, tax structure? The, the, you, you, uh, <laughs> so now I'm confused because um, we are almost about exiting and then and the new manifestos that is coming in probably have to take advantage to talk about the manifestos that have come. Um, fortunately, we had the opportunity to confer with all the um, politics when they were um, fashioning out their uh, manifestos. And fortunately, they, um, they took most of our input. But what is very outstanding for us are um, two things for the trading community. And I will say that they are again changes. Um, that's um, the, the flat tax system. Um, that is being proposed by the MPP and the face tax system also by the NDC to suggest that we are going to pay a fixed duty at the port and all that. Um, and the only difference is that that of the um, MPP they are doing for all commodity lines um, and that of the NDC is um, purposely for spare parts. And that we still appeal that if they can make it um, to cover all the other products. So these are the game changers for the trading community because it's going to ease us the problem that we've been encountering, the duties and then the problem that goes with it. And then also the task amnesty that is being promised is, is also very important that we start afresh and that we are forgiving of our past uh, misdeeds or mistakes so that we can start afresh. And when we do that, I think um, the, the, the duty or the taxation will be minimized. So um, I think that's what we have to say because for the, what we are paying, uh, uh, doing now, we are about to exit. And so um, the manifesto is what I have to dwell on. And I, I must say, um, the fixed tax system and then the flat tax system being proposed by the two main political parties are the game changers um, which have to be um, they have to show uh, commitment also to that. That's why we seek that um, they have some kind of pledge with us so that we know that when they have the opportunity to come, they are going to do that because it's going to help us. It's going to simplify the tax system, make it affordable, and then it's going to clear all the gray areas. 
In that case, there are not going to be any argument. You know that your container is several thousand Ghana cities. It's several thousand Ghana cities. And it also boosts the revenue enhancement of the country because then no cutting edge anywhere. No, no one is going to take any undue advantage of the horror system that we are having now. That's why uh, I, I can agree more um, to this um, innovative proposals that have been given. But for the first star system, if um, it can be expanded to other um, sectors, uh, rather than only the scrapers, we will be very happy. I know um, you will hear about this, and, um, the, this, but we seek commitment to this. It's very important that we seek. And that's why sometimes I call that if you can sign a memorandum of understanding or a pledge, it will also help us. Yeah. Thank you very much.